spicy decks of the week where we look at all the cool crazy decks of the past week that had success either in tournament or by reaching king of games or by going on a win streak at the legend or king of games level we have something from all three of those this week starting off with a deck actually from a couple of weeks ago but i wanted to talk about it here ojama dark arm dragon so at first you might be wondering how do these go together, the Ojamas are not even dark attribute, but there was a character in the anime show who used Ojamas and the Arm Dragon archetype in the same deck, and so Konami printed some cards that support the two of those working together, and since Dark Arm Dragon has, it, arm, has the name Arm Dragon in its name, uh, we can use it along with the uh, support card. So Ojo Match allows us to send an Ojama card from our hand or face up on the field to the graveyard, and we can add from our deck to hand an Ojama monster with a different name and an Arm Dragon monster from our deck or graveyard to hand. So this gives us three ways to search Dark Arm from our deck. So three Dark Armed and three ways to search it for, from our deck. This is the most consistent way to guarantee that you can have a Dark Arm Dragon out of any deck in the game right now. Um, it's also really cool to go with our skill here, Land of the Ojamas. This is going to let us start out with the uh, Oja Country, uh, uh, the Ojama Country uh, card on our field at the beginning of a game. So we already have a material or something for us to send away with Oja Match without needing to discard anything out of our hand. So it gives us an immediate target for that. So it's really cool. We also have the Nightmare uh, Corruptor Iblian here along with uh, Nightmare Mermaid and some of the other monsters in order to be able to fill up our graveyard with Dark Monsters very quickly. Plus we have Junk Synchron to be able to pull Dark Monsters out of our graveyard in case we get too many in there so we, we have a way to mess with our dark count as well um so really cool deck glad to see we have a this way to summon dark arm go through the card by our card real quick we have three junk synchron three dark arm dragon three of the nightmare corruptor ibli two junk converter three ojama blue one ojama yellow you need a second ojama monster to be able to search out with ojama blue and uh, sometimes with oja match because you need to discard a card with a different name so if your um field, field spell gets blown up you need a second monster like um to search out with like o oj yellow or ojama blue um blue can also search out your oja match from your deck to hand but it needs to search out another ojama card as well so that's why we need the one of ojama yellow in the deck but three oja match one dark hold this is just to clean out like certain monsters that are pesky or um clean out the boards to get rid of world legacy secrets um, three tuning, and then our extra deck consists of one Ally Justice Cataster, one Nightmare Unicorn, two Nightmare Mermaid, two Nightmare Cerberus, and then the two Nightmare Phoenix rounding out the extra deck. Next up, we have a Speedroid deck. A few cool things about this deck. Number one, we actually have a really cool skill to go with this deck. Check out my ride says, each time our life points are decreased by a thousand, during the draw phase, instead of doing a normal draw, we can draw a Roid monster of our choice from our deck to hand. So you can add any Roid monster you want. And we have a lot of good ones here that give us really cool plus ones. Double Yo-Yo lets a special summon a Speedroid from our graveyard when you normal summon it. Uh, Den Den banishes itself to the grave to special summon another Speedroid tuner from your grave to the field. And then Horse Stilts allows you to special summon a speedroid from your hand when you normal summon this card. And then you can banish this from your graveyard to bring back or to uh, uh, to send a speedroid from your deck to grave, allowing you to get Den Den and other tuners in your grave for its effect. So really cool, um really cool plus ones this deck has, but also the spell card is really powerful too. Speed recovery is kind of like a monster reborn and a, a warrior returning alive all in one. You can target a speed roy monster in your graveyard and special summon it, and then during your main phase, accept the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, banish it, and target a speed roy in your grave and add it to hand. So yeah, a monster reborn and a warrior returning alive all in one for this archetype. Really cool cards for it. And they're also taking advantage of a newer card that came out of the Arms of Giant uh, uh, box in December. Red haired hasty horse, kind Kind of like uh, Cyber Dragon in some ways, it's a level 5 that you can special summon from your hand into a column that has no cards in it. But if a card gets put into that column on either side, it dies immediately, so we're going to be using this for Synchro Material usually to immediately Synchro Summon into uh, uh, something a, a lot of the time. Uh, but nonetheless, it's cool to see this card getting play. It also has a really cool second effect as well, where you can half its attack and attack directly with it, so it's a way to deal a thousand damage to your opponent if they just have a little bit of life points left and you need to finish them off. Um, going into the deck list, we have two of the red-haired Hasty Horse, two of the W-O-Yo, two of the Den Den, three of the Red Eyes Dice, three of the uh, Speedroid Horse, Horse Stilts, three Mystical Space Typhoon, two Speed Recovery, three Warning Point, and then our extra deck we have the one Cyber Slash Harpy Lady, one Battle Wasp Hamma the Conquering Bow, one Yazzie, one Red Wyvern, one Stardust Charge Warrior, one Ally Justice Cataster, one Samurai Destroyer, and one Link Disciple um, in order to get out of the Nightmare Corruptor Ibli Lock.
Next up, we have an agent deck, another one deck list from a couple weeks ago. We haven't done this in a month or so, or in, in a few months or so, so I wanted to cover some of the cool deck lists over the past month in our spicy deck list video this week. Agents have a really cool monster, an agent of Venus, that, uh, agent of creation of Venus, that allows them to pay 100, 500 life points to special summon a Mystic Shine Ball from your deck. And there's no limit on how many times you can do this for, per turn. So in the past, we've seen Shine Ball and this combo being used to go into synchro plays, as well as XYZ plays, but now we're using it for a link engine. You can see no synchros or xyz's in this deck just straight up using this as a link engine and you can just with one card go into a link four with it right because you can bring out your three shine ball plus venus that's link four just all on its own so by yourself for the cost of 1500 life points you can get a fireball dragon to the field or the uh, swarm ship to the board you can also as you link up your chain go through the nightmare package here and be able to uh, you know blow up a card on the field every time you link up into something new going through the uh, link chain so a lot of really cool things with this deck. Another um, thing that I'm really excited to see with this deck is Prospecting Spirit Loageth. This is a card I've been waiting to come in the Duel Links for a little while now. It uh, only came out in the TCG a couple years ago, and I'm really excited to see it here. Um, this has a couple of cool effects. So one, if a, uh, a Fairy-type monster you control activates its effect, you can Special Summon this thing to the field. So really easy to Special Summon it. Of course, you have several fairies that do activate their effects. But then Spirit get, um, uh, Protecting Spirit can then turn itself to Defense Mode to blow up a card on their your opponent's side of the field. So a lot of really cool things going for it. Also, if this card on the field is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can target another monster on the field and it gets protected by battle for the turn. So a little bit of protection there, but it's again, several uses to it. It has 2,400 life point or attack points, excuse me. So you can either use it as a beat stick to finish off your opponent. Um, you can use it as a link or uh, as an extender to go into further link plays. You can just use it as removal just to, to, to be able to remove something from your opponent's side of the field. Um, so really cool plays you can do with this by just special summoning it, removing something from your opponent's side of the field, linking off into something else to be able to, to try to OTK your opponent. So a really cool card. I'm glad to see uh, another deck taking uh, use of it. <clears throat> Our skill in the deck is Life Point Boost Alpha. This has kind of become the go-to skill now. Destiny Draw really doesn't see anywhere near as much play anymore, except in like very specific decks. And Boost Alpha, with, with just how fast the game has been getting, having those extra life points to try to survive an OTK is really effective in a lot of decks, and it has really just become the go-to skill now um, at this point in the game. We have two Master Hyperion in here, your big boss monster of the deck that's outside of your Link monsters, three uh, Angel of Mystery Earth to search out your Venus. We have the one Protect Spirit, uh, Loageth, three Agent of Creation Venus, three Mystic Shine Ball, two World Legacy Succession. This is basically like a monster reborn, but you have to have a Link Zone open on your board to be able to summon the monster to. One real monster reborn in the deck. We also have two Crackdown, one Warning Point, one Compulsory Evacuation Device, one Bottomless Trap Hole, and then our extra deck consists of the Amphibious Swarm Ship, the one Firewall Dragon, the one Unicor, the one Ningirsu, one Cerberus, one Phoenix, and two Imduct the World Chalice Dragon, um, another way that we can take advantage of the Shine Balls. Really cool deck here, big fan of Agents from back in the day, glad to see it having some success here. And our last deck, the biggest spicy thing about this one is that if you look at the cost, 105,000 gems and $225 out of the selection box, this is the most expensive deck ever posted to Duel Links meta. Um, out of the 50,000 decks that have been posted to this website over the years, this one costs more gems and money than any other one that's ever been posted on the website. So just for that reason alone, I wanted the feature this week, because in Dark Worlds are a really fun deck to play with, if you do happen to have it. Uh, again, it is a very expensive deck, however, though. So going through the card by card real quick, Avenger from the Void is our skill. Of course, it gives us a, a, a monster in our graveyard for Gates of the Dark World to activate right away. We have three Grapha, one Gold Wulu of Dark Ward. This card actually is really powerful with Ceruli. You can discard Ceruli from your hand. It gets special summon to your opponent's side of the field, and then it discard a, a discards a card from your hands. And if you didn't know, all the Dark Worlds actually have two discard effects. Of course, all the Dark Worlds, they get effects when they're discarded at the grave. That's kind of the whole thing with a deck, right? You discard them to the grave. They get an effect like special summoning or searching or drawing cards or whatever. But they also have a secondary effect that they get if they're discarded from your opponent's side or by your opponent's card effect. Obviously, that doesn't happen too much in modern Duel Links here. However, though, if you summon Cerulean to their side of the field, it counts. So you can trigger their effects and gold will then pop two cards on your opponent's side of the field when you do that. So it's a great way to clear out your opponent's board so you can go with OTK. Um, in addition to destroying things with Grapha, so gold is really powerful along with Cerule. <clears throat> we have three Snow in here, the one of Cerule, three Brow, one World Legacy Succession, one Monster Reborn, two Book of Moon, 
three Gates of Dark World, three Dark World Dealings, three Into the Void, one Gateway of the Dark, one Gateway to Dark World. This is kind of like a Monster Reborn, but you can't special summon the rest of the turn. So, but it's a quick play, so you can play it on your opponent's turn and just bring back something um, at that point. We also have three Icy Dragon Prison, two Needle Sealing, and then in the extra deck we have the one of Gimmick Puppet, one Zombie Stein, one Malevolent Sin, one Santa Fond, one Borolo Dragon, one Decode Talker, one Code Talker, and one Wee Witch Apprentice rounding out this deck and this episode of Spicy Decks of the Week. If you guys like the content, please be sure to like and subscribe. It helps out the channel. Of course, all the deck, li deck lists are posted in the description. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of the day.